Hello, I'm Carol DeShane, and I am an intuitive spiritual guide for Practical Matters, and I also am a certified Marconics recalibration energy practitioner. And if you were just here a moment ago, I'm sorry, I had to restart the video, but here we are now, and I'm going to talk to you about having a clear way of creating your life on purpose. Before we get into it, I do want to talk to you about, I mean, of the specific steps. So if you're here in your life and you want to have something and it's up here, obviously you haven't this gap of how do you get from here up to here? Well, a lot of people, they say, I can create my life on purpose. I have plans. I have goals. And yes, you're right. But sometimes there's the... I don't know how to get from here to here. It seems like luck has a play in it. And that's what I want to talk to you about. Those times when you don't really know how you're going to get from here to there. How are you going to find this person that you want to have in your life? How are you going to have all of these different things that you want? That seems like that luck is plays a really large part. So what I offer you are these five steps which happen to work for me and you may have other ways that work and I'd love to hear from you. But in the meantime, here we are. You're here and what you want is here. So if you raise your vibration, eventually, ta-da, it shows up magically, even though it was there all along. Besides raising your vibration, sometimes you have to shift your frequency. And what I mean by that is, for example, if you're watching TV and you're watching one channel, it's your reality. That's what's in your reality right now. But if you look at all the different options that are actually out there, they are streaming live all the time. HBO is always there, as is Home and Garden. And if the comedy channel's still around, that one's always there. Stars, all of these, they're all happening at once. And so if you pick up the remote and you change the channel, it becomes your new reality, but it was always there. So, and you don't question when you pick up your remote and push the button that it's not going to happen. You know that that law that, that's working, that science is going to work, unless your battery's dead or something in your remote, but you expect it to happen. So, I want you to look at these tools that I'm going to give you and expect them to happen and see what does for you. And so let me give you these five tools first, and then I'm going to give you a real life example of what actually happened to me, which may help make it clearer and help demonstrate what I'm talking about. So the five steps are to have a clear intention. You're going to set a very clear intention, and you're going to take like a snapshot in your mind of exactly what you want. And then the second step is to ask. Ask your higher power, ask whoever it is that you want something, what you want, and you're gonna say, this is it, this, this, and this, very clear, very positive, exactly what you saw in the picture of what you want. And then you're gonna say step three and say thank you, because you just asked, so then you say thank you, of course. Thank you, so be it, this or something better. Now, you're, first you're thanking because, remember, you want to raise your vibration, and gratitude is one of those things that does that. It helps buoy you up, and it shifts your vibration up. And so you're automatically closer to what you want when you do that. Gratitude, love, joy, they all raise your vibration that way, and there's a few other ones. But so once you raise your vibration, and you're grateful, and you say this or something better. Now, why do I say that? Well, I learned a long time ago, I think probably in Unity Church, that I don't know what's best for me. When you say this or something better, you're saying, I know what's best for me, but maybe I don't. Maybe there's something, another step beyond. So, for example, if you're going for a raise and you ask your boss, I want $100 more a raise, more a month, well, more like you know, more than that, but you know, for example, you want $100 more a month a raise, and you tell him that, and he goes, 
Okay. And you leave really happy because you got what you asked for. But what if you said, it's time. I deserve it. I've been doing this, this, and this. I think I've done great for the company and I'd like a raise. And you don't say exactly how much you want. And the boss says, you're right. You know, it's time for your raise. I think you get a $200 a month raise. You'd be going, oh God, I'm so happy. I didn't say what I wanted because this is great. So don't necessarily put a cap on your good because you might get way more than what you thought. So that's step three. So it's kind of a long-winded step three. And step four is breathe. Realize that you can let that go now. Release it because the universe took it for you. Whether it's the law of physics or whether it's your belief in a higher power, it's taken care of. It's released. So you can relax. And that's step four. And right on the heels of relaxing it, expect it to happen. So those are the five steps. Now, granted, the expected to happen might take a little more work until you've got it working a few times in a row. But do your best because it does work. So again, the five steps are snapshot, set the clear intention, the picture in your mind, then put it into words and ask, give it some legs so that your, your clear picture can start becoming a reality for you, your higher power or whoever you need, then be grateful. Step three, thank you so much. So be it this or something better. And then step four, release it. Breathe. Let it go. You've delegated the problem. It's not your job anymore to worry about it. And then step five, expect it to happen. Because you've given it to higher power or to the laws of the universe. And well, of course they're going to come through. That's what they do. It's immutable. So here you are with the five steps. Now, there are a couple of other possibilities that might happen once you put those five steps into play. The sixth thing that might happen is that instead of happening immediately, there is another step in the way or two or three steps, things that you need to know. So those things will come from other angels, people, or from ideas you get yourself. And what you'll get are things that are ideas, like I said, somebody will say something out of the blue. I remember quite some time ago, a really close friend of mine and I were going to be moving somewhere and we didn't know where, and we put it off a week to decide what's going to happen, where are we going to move, and we had three ideas, but I didn't really talk to anybody. I'm not sure if her, um, what happened to her, but for me, I, was, I didn't talk to anybody about it. And I had three people out of the blue tell me something about Colorado, which is one of the three. And it was the only state that came up for no reason. And I thought, oh, well, maybe that's where I'm supposed to go. Because there was an extra step. And people were telling me, here you go. This is what you need to know. Another possibility for that extra step would be if someone says, you know, well, actually, this is a story I heard from someone who's really reliable. So I'm pretty sure it's right. It's true. Um, someone who wanted a specific job, was looking for a job and didn't have one, did all of her steps. And she was not necessarily my steps, but she did steps to create what she wanted. And she was at the point of going, OK, now I have to go out and find it because I did all the work. I'm ready to go. And she got a call from a friend who said, I really need help setting up a bingo game for the senior citizens. And she went, or it was a church. And she said, I can't, I'm supposed to be working online trying to get this job. But her friend was insistent. She really needed help. And she said, oh, I don't want to go. So she just didn't want to go, didn't want to go. And finally she said, all right, all right, I'll go. And she went because she kept feeling like maybe she should, even though she didn't want to. She helped set up the game. And she thought, oh, now that I'm here, I might as well just sit and play and just relax. So she started playing the game, and in between games, this older gentleman who was sitting next to her, and for her, she's probably like 30, and he's like 60, they're talking, and she mentions, or he asks her what she does for a living, and that she's looking for a job, and he looks at her, and he goes, oh, what do you do? And so she's telling him, and in between each game, she tells him a little bit more, and he keeps asking questions, which are very pointed, and she's wondering what's going on, but she answers him. And eventually it comes to the point that he owns a business and he's looking for someone 
with exactly her qualifications. And if she hadn't have gone and taken that step, she wouldn't have known. And so her friend being insistent made her go. And she ended up with this fabulous job that she had, would never have found necessarily any other way. So she found it at a bingo game, which is very ridiculous. So here you are with these things that you have this extra step that may or may not be needed. The extra step may not be something that you have to do. But when you do receive what you've asked for, make sure it's this little extra credit step. Make sure that you celebrate because I'm going to tell you what happened to me in a moment. But if you don't go, woohoo, yay, aha, it happened, it happened, then you won't the next time. It'll take, if you do do that, it'll take you less effort and less expectation concerns to make it there the next time. Because you will already have raised your vibration again. So now I'm going to tell you the steps, or not the steps, but how I use these steps in a real life scenario. And it's a, a regular kind of scenario. Here I am. I'm going to a first date with someone straight from work. And we're meeting at a restaurant near, near my house. And there's a four-lane, like, impossible street that feels like a road rally driving really, really close to this place. And so I'm driving along. And here is this restaurant. And I know that this restaurant has this street parking. It's just parallel parking. And with me, at the time, my car was... Let's just say I was I had a lot of a challenge when it came to parallel parking. So I thought, eh, I know there's some street parking around back. I'm not going to even worry about it. So I'm driving along and I go past the restaurant knowing I look, yeah, no parking, just as I kind of didn't worry about it. And I was going to make all the way around the block to come back, to hopefully to find parking around the back. First right turn, second right turn. Oh, no, no parking. Just more storefronts. So at that point, I realized I better hurry up and ask for a parking place. So that's when I set these steps in motion. So first, I got the picture of what I needed, which was an oversized parking space. Because there's so much traffic, I didn't want to try and get in and have this horrible trouble with this parallel parking. Then the second step, oh, and of course, right in front of the restaurant door, because let's ask for everything you want, right? So, and then the second step was, and this happens close to simultaneously, each thing, so you don't have to take a long time. The second step was asking. So I was like, okay, I want right in front of the door, really wide space, and I need it in uh, 30 seconds or so when I turn, if I go all the way or the rest of the way around the block. So here I am driving around, and as I finish that, of course, then I said, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. This will be so great. This or something even better. Thank you. I released it. Breathe. And then I expected it to happen. I expected the best to happen. And as I get to the street, the busy street where the light was, I was two cars. So it's a car in front of me. And as they pulled away and I pulled forward with all those cars flying past still in that street, I turned to look. And there were two people simultaneously coming out. They looked like they were in this dance. They came around. They got in their car doors. And as soon as the traffic paused, they both took off. And it looked like it was right in front of the door. And so then I, the light changed. I turned, and it looked like I was going to get one of those. And a third car behind the other two where the space was, he pulled out too. So I not only had an over-large parking place, the universe must have known I needed a really big parking place to get in because they gave me three full sections. And so. I pulled right in, and then I did, didn't need to do the extra step of having something else happen because it happened immediately. So then I did my celebration, and I did my little happy dance, woohoo, because I wanted to raise that vibration and really, really make this come true. This is something that it will work for you. And the first time, I know the expectation may not be there that it works, but give it a shot because honestly, it will work. And when you 
the more you do it and the more it happens, the less worry you have and ex the expectation is just there because you expect it to happen. This or something better. And I offer you the parking idea because sometimes we just need to practice on the small things. Both metaphysics and quantum physics say that all energy is just there. It's all the same value. Nothing is more than the other. So if what we want means so much to us and something small doesn't really matter, we have a small thing that's like getting a parking place, generally not life or death to us. But then there are the things that matter so much. And those things like finding a partner or having this, if you have a business, maybe finding clients or make, just making a difference in the world, those things matter so much to us that we overthink, we get in our head, we worry, we just create all these scenarios of why we can't have them. When honestly, it's just energy and you can have whatever you want. So practice on the small things so that you can have the things that really matter to you. Thank you for listening. I'm Carol DeShane, an intuitive spiritual guide for practical matters and a certified Marconics energy healing practitioner. Please check out my website if you'd like to know more about me at www.connecttojoy.com. And it's going to be on the underneath the video, connect the number two joy.com. And there's also a free download there about steps to quantum leap your business and your life. Thank you again for listening. Blessings. Thank you so much.